Ability to conduct our classes. Now, today we're going to carry on with our indices, but today we're going to do advanced indices. <coughs> I went through the video, okay, but the sound doesn't seem very good, okay. The sound is not very, very audible, so we have to sound louder, louder today, okay. So, we're going to do advanced indices, okay. Advanced means it's more difficult, okay. Now, before we continue, we have to do some look at some basic, basic examples that we stopped yesterday. Yeah, and I don't think we have done that. If they, if they ask you to express this in the form of indices, what would you do? Root three. Root three. Hmm? Root. In form of indices, what are you going to do? Indices. Yes, express it in form of indices. You are going to say three. this is 10 to power 3, three one third in it. Okay, so basically that is what? 10 to the power 3 times 1 third which is 10 to the power three. 1 in it. Three. No, no. You three. multiply this in it. Three. 10 to the power 1, yes. So I saw this example. I said, let me, let me show you. Same thing. 0 0.0001 will be 10 to the power minus 1, 2, 3, 4 in it. Mm. Yes? So if they put all this... 1, 2, 3, you are going to multiply this by half in it. Yes? So these are some things we have not covered yesterday, and I saw it to make this example. Okay, let's look at this. 3ac to the power 2. Look at this. 3ac to the power 2. Q. How am I going to solve this? Mm -hmm. It would be 9. Mm -hmm. It would be 3, three, root three first. This would be 3 to the power 3. Yeah. If it is. And then 8 to the power, eight three. power 3. And then C to, to 2 to the power two. 3. And 3. Yeah. Times 2 in it. Mm -hmm. So this is 27. A cube. C to the power 6. So I saw all these examples. I said, I saw, let me, let, let, let's, do, let's, let's look at them. Okay. Uh, another example. Look at this. 2x all to the power minus 2 times 4 cube. 4x cube. Remember, it's only x. Okay? So, what are you going to do? You saw this out for sinus. Yeah. This is 2 to the power minus 2 in it. And x to the power minus 2 in it. Times 4x cube. So, that will be 2 to the power minus 2 times 4 x. Mm -hmm. times x power minus 2 times x this x cube in it yeah. times x cube so 2 is 2 to the power 2 in it mm -hmm. 2 to power minus 2 what is 2? 2 is 2, 2 to the power 2 in it mm -hmm. yes times x multiply this when you multiply the indices are the same when you multiply you add the the powers powers in it mm -hmm. yes times our x to the power yeah. 1. Okay? So this is basically, if you, same thing, the, the bases are the same, we add the powers in it. Mm -hmm. It will be 2 to the power minus 2 plus 2 mm -hmm. times x. This is our x in it. Mm -hmm. Yes? So that's what? 2 to the power 0 in it mm -hmm. times x in it. Mm -hmm. That leads to what? 1. X. Mm -hmm. Y X. One. Two to the power zero. Because two to the power zero one, yeah. is equal to one, one in it. Any yes. to the power zero is one. Any to the power zero is yeah. one. Is it is this not a good example? Yeah. Yes, it, it is. is. It is. Hmm? Yeah. These are some things you, you just jump them thinking that oh I can do it. When the exam comes, you start scratching your head. Okay, because oh I've not I've never seen this. My teacher never saw me this. Remember, this is Cambridge Maths. I'm taking this from Cambridge mm. Maths. So I don't think they will give you this difficult. 
that difficult one in the, your GCSC. This is this is from Cambridge International Maths. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bracket two x y bracket five y. Okay, and they give some crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> they give some crazy, crazy ones here, which I don't want to give you. So we can give. Okay, I don't think they will give this to you in the exam. Okay. <laughs> Y square to power one over six. That's does that look crazy to you? Yeah. Yeah. Divide by nine x all to power half. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Look at the crazy man. A y to power one third divide by x to power three over four. Look, this is Cambridge math, so I don't expect you, I don't expect them to give you something like this, yeah, but if it's this one, it's easy, you multiply the like times in it, yeah. the numbers will be, because it's not that there's square here, square here, so the numbers are 2 and 5 in it, so that is 5, 2 times 5, we have x square times that x in it, yeah. and we have y times this y in it, yeah. times Another y here, ain't it? Yeah. So this will be 10. When you multiply this, it will be x to power 3 in it. Okay? You multiply this, it will be y to power 3 in it. Yeah. <laughs> so this one also, if you look at that, they just want you to add it in a better way, but you can multiply this, you can add, because this is a different variable to that variable, ain't it? Yeah. If they were all y, then we can say yes. It's easy. Hmm? Yeah. When you multiply, when you divide, you subtract the powers in it. Yeah. Yes. So this one will be times 1 over 6 in it. Divide by 9 y to, nine to, y to power, this, this is root of y in it. And y to power half in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, if you divide this, this will be y to power 1 third in it. Yeah. Yes. Divide by root of y to power half isn't it yes so what do you do the thing is here in it so this is 1 over 9 so 1 over root 9 mm -hmm. and root of 9 is what 3 1 over 3 1 third minus half is what a third minus half what is LCM? 6, six in it? Six, yeah. Okay, 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 in it. Minus 1 over 6 in it. Yes. So y, y minus 1 over 6. That's your answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> now, what we are going to do, these are all on the, our basic uh, indices. What we are going to do is now is the advanced indices. And that we expect to move. Before I start that, I'm going to look at how you answer it. How would you put this on the in indices? How we put the in indices for? Oh, the first one is. The first one mm -hmm. could be what one. Yeah. Hmm? Nine First of all, look at this. Yeah. The simplest in this you can put on it. So it is, this is 81 to power minus 1. That's the first you should have done. Mm -hmm. if, if 1 over, mm -hmm. it were in it. 3 is 3 to power 4 in it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 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 So it's 1 is 3 to power 4 and you have your minus 1 outside in it. Yeah. So this is 3 to power minus 4. Am I right? Yeah. 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 Oh, I was still gonna say. Here you can see this one over ten to the power three. three. Yeah. Okay. But well, since it's one over, it will be ten to the power minus, minus three. three. Sixty-four. One over two to the power what? Sixty-four. Six years. Six years. Yeah. So this will be two to the power minus six. 
You get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is what I want you to understand before we go in with advanced um, indices. What you have to understand is x to the power minus 1 is 1 over x. You have said this before, before, yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay? But if we have x over y to the power minus 1, we say u is equal to yes, is equal to y over x. And I demonstrated yesterday how I get to y over x. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because... This means x, let me do it again if somebody wasn't there. This means x to the power minus 1 over, because that's, that's when we are learning the rules, that's what we, we saw, yes? We said x over y all square is x square over y square, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So if it is minus 1, the same thing. And x, x to the power minus 1, we said is 1 over x in it mm -hmm. and y to the power one is one over one. y mm -hmm. now in mathematics when we divide fractions we do the reciprocal of the one yes the one we get dividing in yes that if i say two over three divide by uh four over nine or six over nine yes mm -hmm. we are going to say this is two over three because this one is dividing it this one is dividing that one so that is the one when we tend to we, we, we find the reciprocal in it yes this can go three times this can go three times here, yeah? and that's out of yeah. one in it. So that's what we applied here. Forget x over one as. So be careful. What I'm, I'm introducing all days because I know we come to, we're going to come cross is when we are in these advanced indices. I know we, 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 we come, we're going to come across this. Okay, and then you start scratching your head. How did this happen? Okay. Now advanced indices. Um, now we have seen this yesterday. I think we have worked this yesterday. I'm not so okay. Look, 81 over 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, power half minus half. What would you say? Oh. No, you said 3 over 4. Sorry, mm. not minus 3 over 4. Times nine over twenty-five. Twenty-five minus three over two. Minus three over two. Okay. Zoom this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have done all of them, but separately, separately, we can try to rationalize it. Rationalize means to, you know, expand it. Okay. You have to put your mind here. Okay, <clears throat> so we look at it. Hmm? Mm -hmm. When we look at that, many ways we can do this. We can make 3, 81 okay. as 3 to power, yeah. is it 4? Oh. Hmm? Yeah. Yes. Okay, over 16 is 2 to power. 2 to power. Hmm? Um, 2 to power 4 in times for in it yes yes yeah. hmm? mm. yes so the guy is saying that three over four of that three over four of that i'm saying this is the only way of doing it nine is three to power two yeah. times 25 is five to power two in it mm. okay minus three over two of that minus three over two of, minus three over two of that First of all, when we sort the one out, we multiply it, innit? Mm -hmm. So when we multiply, what are we going to get? 3 to the power? 3. Why? 3 power 4 times 3 over 4. We cancel it, innit? We are left with 3 to the power. That's what we learn. Don't think it's, it's something that I'm saying, mm -hmm. put your mind here. Over. This one, that will cancel that we are left 2 to the power 3, innit? Mm -hmm. Okay? Times here. That will cancel that we are left with 3 to the power minus 3. Be careful, it's minus 3 over 2. So when the 2 cancel that one, we are left with minus 3. This one, this cancel that we are left with 5 to the power minus 3 again. But so you did not make it easy for us to sort this out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Here, 3 to the power 3. Mm? 
to the power 3, yes? Okay. It's 27. Now, let's deal with that one. This one is easy. We already got that one. Okay? Here, 3 to the power minus 3 means what? Minus 1. Huh? Minus 3 to the power minus 1 is 1 over 3. Yeah. So, 3 to the power minus 3 is what? Minus. 1 over? Nine. The prism. 3, 3, no, 3 cube force. Yeah, okay? 3 cube, yes. That's what we said. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Now, 1 over 27. Mm -hmm. That's 1 over 20. Seven. What about this one? You apply the same thing. It is one over twenty. One twenty-five in it. Yeah. Yes. So one over twenty-seven over one over one two five. So it's simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is same thing as say one twenty-five over twenty-seven. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because we said that if at all this thing was not, um, it wasn't. Um, we take it from here, yes? First of all, minus 3 over 2 is equal to minus 1 times 3 over 2 in it. Yeah. Since we say 9 over 25 to the power minus 1, okay, that will be the reciprocal, right? 25 okay. up 29 down in it. Mm. You are left with 3, or 3 over 2. How do you deal with 3 over 2? Hmm? 3 over 2, something as 3 times 1 over 2 in it. Mm -hmm. hmm? So 1 over 2 means square root of that. And 3 mean cube root of all mm -hmm. that. And that's what we did. Hmm? Hmm? Are we not right? Yeah. Yes. So, square root of 5, 25 is 5. Square root of 3 is 9 cube of that. Are we not back to our 125? Yeah. 125 over cube of that is 27? So. Yes. Same. So I don't want to continue with that. Let's how we get that one, how we work that one, that's what. <coughs> okay? So that one, we could just finish out by multiplying it out, yes? Mm -hmm. Now, now what we are doing, what we call advanced indices, is like this. The guy says 16, you can say is 4 to the power 4, 2e. Or 4 itself is 2 to the power. 2 times 2, yes? Mm. So 16 is 2 to the power 4. Hmm? Cody, what about 32? 32 is 2 times 16 in it. Mm. Because 16 is a square number in it. Mm. Yes? Or we can say is 2 times 2 to the power 4 here. We already got that. And that will count to 2 to the power 5. Mm hmm But imagine it was something like this. 3. So this is 96. 96 isn't a square number. But when we divide by 3, we can recognize it's 3 times 32. So we can say it's 3 times 2 to the power 5. Hmm? Same thing like let's say 200. Okay. 200 is not a square number, but we can know that it is 2 times 100. And that is 2 times 2 times 10 to the power 2. So this is some of the things you have to recognize when you do these indices. Advanced indices. Now let's go into what I mean by advanced indices. Okay. In advanced indices, just like equation, finding out what is the unknown. Okay? When we question, we said 2 into x plus 1 is equal to 8. What is x? Even by not doing any calculation, what is x? What zero must you add to 1 and you multiply three. it to 3? Three. Yeah? 3. 3, yes. 3. Okay? Now, if you want to sort this out, 2 ways. I always show you the 2 ways because I don't know the school are there. We can just read out the two in. One by this side by two, one by this side by three. We are left with x plus one is equal to four in. So x is equal to four minus one. X is equal to three in. Yeah. One way we can sort out the bracket yes? and say two x plus two is equal to eight in. Yeah? Two x is equal to eight minus two in. Yeah? Two x is equal to six. X is equal to six divided by two yes? 
x is equal to 3. Which way you think is simpler? You do that. Now, that's what we are going to reincarnate. Okay? Look at my English word. That's what we are going to evoke here. Okay? That's the same spirit we are going to evoke here. If somebody tell you 2 to power n is equal to 64, that means 2 to a root or a power or an index is equal to 64. Then what is n? What is n? Five. Okay. Okay. Now, how do you work this? Basic principles. Look at two of them. This is the base. This is what we call base, isn't it? This is called the index, yes? It's called the base. Okay? So let's have put that in different color. This was there. So this is the base, this is the index. Now we're going to convert this one into a base, a power or a root word with a base of two. You get it? Mm -hmm. We can come nice, 64 is two to the power what? Six. Is yeah. it six? Yeah. Five. Hmm? Five. No. Eight is eight. Eight, eight times six. Two to six. Six. Two to eight, yeah? Six. No, six. Six. Two to six. 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 Now you can see the bases are the same. Right? That's what we make. We make the bases the same. So we're going to say 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 6. This 2 to the power 6, what does it represent? Our old 64 in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have not changed anything. We have not taken anything. We have not disappeared anything. We just change the form. Make the bases the same. Because we recognize that this is a square number. number. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So therefore, if the bases are the same, we now compare the, the powers in it. So n, n. So n is equal to 6. And if you put 6 where n is, you will get 64 in it. Because that is our, our that's why we did here in it. Yeah, this is our advanced indices. Okay? Now this is the basic, basic um, example I gave you. You can get next here. Okay? Now, the guy is telling you 27 to cube root of 27 is equal to 3. Yeah, 27 to power n, sorry. 27 to power n. So what is n? Okay, what is n? What is n? What do you think? It'll be minus something. Hmm? It'll be minus something. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. Now, if you look at this, this means 27 to the power 1 turn, isn't it? Yeah, I, I agree. Okay? Yeah. It's equal to 27 and. Yeah. Now, the roots are the same, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So, what is n? n is 1 turn, yes? Yeah. But I know this is a very, very simple way of it. Mm. We have to read our way because this is 27. And we make. The base here was 27. Yeah. But likewise, 27 is also 3 to the power 3 in it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. it? And we have a one third up there times one third. Times one third. We can make this also 27 to the power 3. Sorry. 27 to the power 3 n. So this will be 3 to the power 3 n because multiply is an inset. Mm -hmm. We have done that in it. Yes. So it comes to the same thing. Come to the same thing. 3, when you cancel it, 3, 3, 3 to the power 1 is equal to 3 to the power 3n. What is n? You can say 3n is equal to 1. n is equal to 1 over 3. We came back to the same thing, yes. I'm just showing you how it can mutate, yeah? I'm not saying to do this one, but since you make the base the same, then the answer is that. More examples. I'm going to do more examples in this. Now, it, it, it becoming more and more nasty. Now, I'm going to even make nastier. Yo, yeah, that thing might do if you have to watch it. You don't listen to the simultaneous. Yo, I remember now. You come out with it. Okay. So look at this, very exactly. What do you think? 7 over 4. Hmm? Maybe 7 over 4. 
Seven over four. Yeah. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think so. What do you think? Mm. We have to convert this into that yes. a form of two in it. Mm. Yes. Okay. So, what do you think? Bima, this mean what? Yeah. What? Cube, um, it cube mean, root. No, this cube root. No, fourth root. Fourth root of eight in it. Mm -hmm. It means the power one over four in it. Mm -hmm. You have your seven outside in it. It's equal to four to power n. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Four and eight, the bases are not the same. Are they? Yeah. No. The bases are not the same. So the condition to do this type of advanced uh, analysis, you must make the bases the same. But we can say this is a, 8 is same thing as 2 to the power 3 in it. Yes, times 1 over 4. All of that 7 to the power 7. And 4 is 2 to the power 2 in it. N. N outside. When you do this, it's 2 to the power 3 over 4 in it. And now 7 outside. This one, 2 to the power 2, N. If we try this out, this is 2 to the power 3 over 4 times 7 in it. That's 21 over 4, 8. 21 over 4 is equal to 2 to the power 2, N. So now we have made the basis the same. We have made the basis the same. Now we compare the top in it. So N is equal to what? Remember, it's 2n, sorry, 2n. Mm -hmm. 2n is equal to 21 over 7. What is n? What is n? What is n? Quickly, your fractions. Yeah, but divide by 2. Hmm? n is 21 over 7 mm. divided by 2 in it. Yeah. Which is 21 over 7 times 2. 1 over 2. Which is yeah. 21 over 14 in it. Yeah. yeah. So n is 21 over 14. Okay? Now, maybe we're going up for 40 minutes, this one. Yeah, we will stop this Yes. Um, are we going to cut it out there so it's, it's easy? Eh? 2x is equal to 1 over 27. 1 over 81. What do you think? What do you think? Just make, make base equal. Make basis the same. That's the first thing you have to do. Make the basis the same, yes? Make the basis the same. The same. That's the first principle you have to do. Okay? Make the basis the same. We, we recognize 21 as 3 to the power. Come on, quickly. 81. Yes. 3 to the power... Four. Hmm? Four. Four. Okay? So basically, that means 3 power 2x is equal to that. Now, the basis are the same. What do we do? We compare the... The, 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 the indices. The indices. The index. So 2x is equal to 4. Then x is equal to... Just 4. Two. No. Okay? So we, have, we have advanced now. You don't have to say divide this by the yeah. You are advanced now, so we just put yes. yes. So therefore, x is equal to mm. two. But we made a mistake here. Who can spot the mistake? Eight one would be eighty one. Because if you put two here, two times two is four. Three to the power four is eighty one, not one over eighty one. Eighty one is eighty one oh, minus shit. one. Minus one, yeah. This would be minus one, yeah. No, minus, minus four, four yeah. yeah. Minus four, minus two. Mm -hmm. That's why we got the mistake. Okay. Now we are going to do the next video and we're going to do um, even more difficult ones. Okay? You're going to do even more difficult ones. Like this. It says x to power x minus 2 is equal to 1 over 9. Similar thing in it. Mm -hmm. 9 square. The guy put 9 to y o 9x power x. <laughs> And the power x. What do you think? Look at it. 
Number three. No, me, same thing, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Make the basis the same thing. One over nine to power x means three squared. Yes. X. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. So this means three to power x minus two is equal to one over nine x. Nine two x. Nine to power two x. Sorry. Three. Three to power two x. Three to power two x, yes. Now this is one over, so it's minus, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So three is equal to x to the power minus two x. So since the bases are the same, what do you do? You compare the Top. indices, yes? Is equal to minus two x. So what is x? Move that there, move this there, yes? Yes? Or what do you do? X plus two x is equal to two. You move these two over that side in it. Move these two to so this side. Mm -hmm. So 3x is equal to 2 in it. 3x is equal to 2 in it. What is x? X is 2 over 3. 1.5, yes. 1.5. Now, this is what we are going to do in the subsequent video. A lot of this, yeah? Because there's another form of it which we need to know. There's another form of it which is difficult. But it may come out in GCSC. Okay? So I'm going to do that in the next video, and that will be the conclusion of this topic. There are a lot of things which we should have done, which I didn't have the time, because only, only 30 minutes will not be sufficient for you to do all these things. Okay? I have seen a very, very juicy, juicy one here, oh. and they try to make... Minus 2x here. Make it look like a fool. Root of 9 to the power half is equal to root of 9 over 4. Mm -hmm. No, 78. Uh -huh. 9, sorry, it's out of 9 over 4 uh -huh. n. What is n? That's what they want to say. What is n? All this of our n. All this power n. So what is n? What is n? Yeah? Make the base, make, make the base is the same. <laughs> Man, this one is top more. Simplify the bracket first. Simplify the bracket first. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So you get 9 over 4 to the power nine half. Four, four, yeah, so you can get four, 9 over 4 to the power half. Inside the bracket. Because yeah, 9 over 4 here. Is square root. Yeah, the, the, hmm? Inside the bracket, you get 9 over 4 to the power half inside the bracket. No, 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 sorry, sorry. There was, there was no power here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's no power here. So, is, is that root so 9 this is, eh? Yeah, root 9 over 4. Yeah, root 9 over 4. Root 9 over root 4 in it. Yeah. So that means, that is, this is 3 over 4 in it. Yeah. 3 over 2 in it. Oh, yeah, see, see. Yeah, look, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the square root is that one. Yeah. So that would be whole. Yeah. Is the square root the whole thing or just 9? The whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah, yeah the, the n is half then. Yeah. <laughs> I see it. Okay then, okay. Let's finish end this video here. Let end this video here and then we can look at uh, advanced advanced uh, indices two. Okay. Advanced indices two. That will be our next topic. Let, let's let's try to finish this, okay? Subhanallah dear subhanallah is not like there are a lot of tricks really we, we need to learn from the book. With this can be one doing a lot of tricks. Okay.